everyone, I am Misty Doan from Missouri Star Quilt Company and I'm so excited to be joined by Amy Smart. Hi everyone. Welcome Amy. I'm so excited to be here. Yes, you guys might know her as Diary of a Quilter. That's where you can That's find me. her online. And she has got some wonderful fabric collections and all kinds of fun projects on her blog. But she's here with a new line yep. from Riley Blake. Yep. Do you want to show us I that? I would love to. This is my new collection for Riley Blake Designs. It's called Sugar House Park. So and cute. Let me grab, I can pull this over and get a yes. peek at some of the prints. It's a lot of bright, sunny primary colors. Kind of my go-to wheelhouse. Yes, I love that. A lot of a lot of my collections are inspired by my growing up years, and so the name of this collection is also. Uh, named after a park near where I grew up. Oh, I love that. That's yep. perfect. Thanks. Yes, You're the so thing excited. I love about uh, Amy's collections is they're always like equal parts homey and happy, and it's just so fun and cheerful. So thank you. Thanks for bringing it's this new to one see to share. It all come together. That's the fun part. Absolutely. Yeah. So you've got a, a fun and quick project for us. Yes, this is Let's one of my this. favorite quick okay patchwork projects absolutely some really cute um half square triangles yes. quarter square quarter triangle. square triangles yes and it, it makes a fun little hourglass i love that and a great shortcut to all make right so project. she's going to show us how to do it great all right so this is a perfect project for using pre-cut squares i love using terms for, for so this five inch squares is what we're starting with they're already to they're just ready to pick up and sew so for this project i love a scrappy look and that's what i love pre-cut squares because everything just is already scrappy works together ready to go for this particular block so here's the the finished block that we'll be making i like to go with some contrast so i like to start with a pile of lights and a pile of darks and you can do that two ways you could just pull the lights out of your your pre-cuts and make one pile and the darks and then start matching those up or i love when there's just the pre-cut Solid background. Solids. Perfect. That awesome. So that's that's what we're going to be doing today. So I've got my five inch squares and they are ready to just start matching up. So I just start putting a light on those darks and then I can just get a pile ready to mass assemble. Oh, I love that. So let's walk. Should we walk through the steps? Yeah, absolutely. All right. If you've done, you probably have done a hundred half square triangles yes. this way. So we're going to do the... The good old draw. Draw a line. Draw Here, let's line. move it up just a little bit. Make sure Perfect. they can see. Want everyone to see yes. what we're doing. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw my my line, diagonal line. And so again, if I've got my stack, I can just go through and do the whole stack. Mass at once. assemble. I yes. love that. It makes it go so fast. And then take it over to the machine. Okay. You want me to draw and the line sure. on this one? You do that one? Sure. That's another we that way as they're as you're mass producing, you can chain them through yes. too, which is another, I'm all about saving time. Absolutely. All right, so this, so a quarter inch seam on both sides of that line. Should we chain this sure, one Sure, why not? Before we do that. We can just follow right behind. Saves a little bit of thread that way. Yes, I love it. And then after you've chained a bunch through, I just swing it around and start going back the other direction. And it's not perfect, but it's okay. We're going to square them up at the end, and that'll make everything neat and tidy. Exactly how we want it. Yes. Okay. There's your rotary cutter. So I start separating those, and then like when you're making any half square triangle with this method, just cut on that diagonal line. Perfect. And then I get two equal, two identical half square triangles. Awesome. You want to press for I me? I would be happy to. Great. And just press to the dark fabric. All right. And this is important on this one for our next step because we're going to start matching up these half square triangles to make the quarter squares. Perfect. There's that one. Perfect. Press one I'll more. Take this one. Okay. And I've got a pile of some other half square triangles ready to go right here. Okay. Get that out of the way. And now I'm gonna use these two half square triangles and put them right sides together. And this is the important part. I want the dark print on top of the light. So I want opposites I facing see. Yeah, each other. That so, makes sense. And, and line the, up this. The nesting this that seam. middle yes, seam. Yes, we're gonna nest that middle seam. Perfect. It, it, you just kinda of wanna feel it with your hands, feel those 
butt up against each other. That makes sense. We're going to repeat the same half square triangle process. Okay. And come out with a fun finished result. So again, I'm going to draw my um, diagonal line. Just want to make sure it's perpendicular to the line that's already there. Okay. So it's like we're making an X. There we go. And then this is ready to feed through the machine. Now, the one thing you want to watch as you feed this through the machine is this can kind of catch and come up. Okay. You could pin it. Sure. And that would help hold that down. I just hold it with my fingers. As you're as going, going through it. Through. Okay. And I also want to watch this seam on the on the back side too. So again, I'll just kind of hold it with my fingers and just ease over that spot. Perfect. And then do the same thing. We're going to sew again on both sides of the line. Okay. All right. Now this is the fun part where we get to trim. We, we're going to cut on the line again, just like we did with the half square triangle. Here's the magic. Ta -da! Now we have our quarter square triangle ah. block. And I love how perfectly it meets up there in the yes. middle. It lines up great. great. So awesome. I have a great little tip for pressing these. Okay. That I like to use. I, I like to press from the top. I because I like, especially on these half square triangles that you're gonna be matching up against each other, you wanna get a nice flat open seam there. Sure. So that they look, you know, they match up nice and flat when you go to put them together. And so I do the same when I'm pressing this, but there's where these four um, seams intersect, I like to just kind of pop that seam open. So you kind of press the middle open. Yes, press the middle. So you'll have like a little tiny four patch right okay. here. Okay. And these seams will swirl in the same direction. That way it it just lays really nice and flat. Yeah, and you lose some of that bulk in the middle that yes. way. That so makes sense. When you sense. go to quilt it, there's not like a big mass of yeah. seams and fabric right exactly. here. Exactly. It's just a nice little flat. Perfect. All right, well let, oh, let me press this one for that? you. Yeah. Awesome. While you're All doing right. that, I'll pull one over. And this is an important step on this one. Because we've got so many diagonal seams going on, you do need to square up these blocks. Okay. No, that's not everybody's favorite You know, part. we talked a little bit about this because I, I admittedly am a speedy sewer. I learned from Jenny and sometimes we just like to get things, get things done. But Amy and I were talking and this is one of those little blocks that it's worth taking the time to square because you can get wonky really fast. Yes, especially as you're sewing all these diagonal seams piecing the blocks together, it could get off really easy. Exactly, and so you wanna take that time to make it right. It'll be yes, worth it, it in the end. it is totally <laughs> worth it. And here's here's my trick for doing that. I love a square ruler that has a, a 45 degree line. Perfect. Because we're gonna line that up right on this seam. And this block, we're, we're gonna square it up to four inches by four inches. Okay. And so I find the cent, you know, here's my center, it's easy to find. And I'm going to use Rotate this around. The two inch by two inch intersection okay. right there. Line up that diagonal line. Just making sure. Yep, perfect. Trim and, and trim. trim. Rotate. And same thing. Just repeat. Yep. Awesome. And I get a perfect quarter square triangle. Exactly. Lock. And yeah. they'll just line up and sew together so nicely. Awesome. Got a bunch of them here. All right. And layout. that's really it, right? This that's is what it. we're looking for. That is it. I and love that. And the great thing about this process is you could do the exact same thing with any size squares. Yes. The six inch squares, the pre-cut 10 by 10 inch squares. Right. I've made a bunch of quilts using this exact same method. With the 10 by 10 inch squares. Yes, exactly. And if you have a, a bunch of stash that you want to use yes. up, it's leftovers. A, it's a great time to use your stash and have a really fun scrappy project. Yes. All right, so then let's talk about laying this out. Okay. Move all these things out of the way. So remember, we're making this. It could be a little table topper, wall hanging, or a pillow. Amy's yes. actually made it so you could turn it into a pillow, which is so fun. It looks so cute. So this is six by six okay. inches. So that finishes as a, should have figured that out ahead of time. 
Oh. I think it's 18 by 18 inch. Should we measure? Let's measure. Okay. Nope, 20. Yeah. 20 by 20. Yeah, 20 by 20. They square up to four by four and then they finish at three and a half by three and a half. Yeah. So it's great for a 20 by 20 inch pillow, a cute little table topper. Perfect. And when I lay these out, I rotate the, um, I alternate. Oh, I see. Where it's the lights and lights the darks. Lights and darks. And that gives it, again, that helps with that contrast. Let's get these really scrappy. Yeah. We'll put this together. Perfect. Right. After our blocks are pieced, we'll lay them out six across by six down. Okay. And I piece my rows together, the six rows, and then I press my seams one direction on the odd rows and the other direction on the even rows. Perfect. So again, those seams nest up. Exactly. So the rows together finishes as the 20 by 20 inch table topper or, pa or pillow cover. I love that. That's so great. Thank you so much for being here, awesome. Amy. This Thank is really so fun and such a wonderful, quick and easy project. We hope you guys enjoyed this from Amy Smart of Diary of a Quilter and the Missouri Star Quilt Company.